to the bomb, please do bum 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 bum. Give me a bum 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 because he's new at the game. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the dais. I'm sorry that took a while. Uh, uh, please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands up for the Mario Brothers. <laughs> Following the Mario Brothers, Mario and Luigi, we have the Tetris block. I'd like to introduce your favorite. It's Pac-Man, everybody! Pac-Man! Yep. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Please don't put trash into him. Bop, 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 bop. He's not a trash can. Bop, bop, bop. That's not a... Oh, my goodness. He's... <laughs> bop, 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 Eat this. Bop, 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 Oh, here you go. Come on up. There you go. That's the first step right in front of the other. You, you get the big old seat right here there, buddy. All right. He doesn't even have legs. He's Pac-Man. Oh, well. I'm about to turn into a ghost. A goddamn ghoul. And ladies and gentlemen, our, our freaking, uh, the, who do you call the person that you roast at the end? Uh, the honorary roasted? The guest of honor. The guest of honor! Ladies and gentlemen, the guest of honor, Sonic Oranges. Sonic Oranges, oh I'm sorry, that really hurt. Sonic Oranges, every, or Oranges. Uh, interesting yellow piece. No, no, I, Tetris, Tetris is not racist. No, 
I um, can silence, oh goodness. It, no, that's just thing, uh, all pieces matter, and I, uh, oh, oh goodness, no, uh, <laughs> No, no, touchers, touchers understand that, that some pieces like zigzag piece are born, like programmed with this is okay, you know, touchers is going to check his privilege. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, and, and touchers cannot afford dating and, uh, you know, have little pieces running around. So, so like, touchers is uh, being careful. And since touchers is currently in uh, Alabama, uh, Dr. Mario, uh, maybe you can give me some of those special pills later? Uh, no? Okay. All right. And, and also, if uh, if you're out of that uh, plan B, we can uh, walk on over to Luigi's mansion. I hear he has a, a vacuum that is sucking up a lot of soul. Okay. Oh, Aaron. Okay. Speaking of dark souls, is is sad time we live in when it is. Uh, Easier to beat the uh, dark souls without saving than save up to a fort hall. <laughs> dark times indeed. We have any uh, Amazon delivery people in uh, the audience? Uh, probably half of you. So, oh, oh, that's your new job? Oh. It's also, also sad that, that you know, hard, hard working Amazon people that like, work in the warehouse and even $15 an hour, not enough for home or for health care or anything. And there's no, no uh, dignity in it. There's more dignity uh, running an OnlyFans page and making $200 a day to show your butthole to strangers. <laughs> what a world we live in. You know, even if you try to invest, you, you invest in a, a generation raised by video games. So, oh, Bitcoin. I know, maybe a fake digital currency will work as well as Mario's coins. <laughs> it will not work out so well for everyone. But, uh, you know, we are here to roast. Uh, we have Luigi, who is like a skinny dildo Tetris piece. Uh, you know, need to say no more. <laughs> We have uh, Mario here, uh, who uh, tries to control everyone with his red hat and, you know, uh, to, to get the woman from the castle. She's not a prize, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and also, Dr. Mario, it, it's Tetris ripoff, okay? Can we all admit that? But, uh, and then we have uh, Sonic here, who is... Uh, Oh my god, this, uh, the version you have today though is before the revised version of the first movie with the internet outlet. Oh, yeah, so, so unfortunately that's the version we got. And uh, my friend Pac-Man, who is an uh, old timer like me, uh, because uh, him and Miss Pac-Man have not gotten out during the pandemic, uh, uh, like uh, everyone else, uh, they got a little more uh, frisky in the bedroom. <laughs> Oh. And she let him try uh, two in the pinky and one in the pinky. <laughs> and they let Clyde Ghost watch, but like just his eyes from a box in the middle of the house. Very stinky stuff. But, uh, you know, and uh, honestly, I'm not even sure. He always talks about Miss Pac-Man, but I never see them in the same place at the same time. I think it's just Pac-Man with the bow. And, and bro, I understand your gender dysphoria. You know, even though Pac, uh, even though Tetris was like programmed to be sideways teapot, deep down inside, I identify as upside down. Be <laughs> <laughs> true to thy own self, everyone. Thank you. Wasn't that amazing? It was a Tetris block. I didn't even know he had a mouth. Uh, Mitchell, what do you have to say? Yo, I got a question for Sonic. Sonic! Mm -hmm. I love Sonic games. Also, Sonic! Your mom is so fat, she had to get baptized in Labyrinth Zone! I'm not even talking about this zone like the, the first part. I'm talking about all three acts and Scrap Brazil Act 3! Thank you, Mitchell. Let's hear it for Mitchell. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Mitchell's the man. And I'm... Oh. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, it's the giant trash can, uh, uh, Pac-Man. Let's hear it for Pac-Man. <laughs>
Thank you, thank you there, Paper Fridays. How's everybody doing out there? And to old friend Paggy, the most famous gaming icon in history. Don't listen to these fellas up here, a bunch of bullshitters. Yeah, life's been good for me. Pretty damn good. Uh, been living the dream. Uh, doing my bullshit. No living the dream. <laughs> Next few years been talking about whole packet. Yeah, let me tell you. Money in church and didn't have to rehab. Of course, anybody goes through that, all the pills I eat. And don't let them tell you about cherries are good for you. They make packet go cracker crazy. Oh, well, that, let me tell you something. I felt like the Hulk when I ate some of that shit, chased all them ghosts around, but uh, just like crack cooking and stuff, the high wears off quickly. Next thing you know, it's paranoia sets in, you're doing nothing but running for your life. And as you can see, I'm falling apart here in the seams. I tried to get a GoFundMe thing going, but I got no fucking arms to type it in. <laughs> Worse yet, I got no dick either. So don't believe about me and this Pac-Man having fun on the pandemic. I haven't seen that bitch since the start of it. <laughs> But I hear for a quarter, she'll put your balls in her mouth. <laughs> Can't beat that, you'll not even catch it. Yeah, yeah. Most of my quarters are gone now, my fortune. And, uh, you know, Pac Man Jr., but what a joke that was. <laughs> Pac Man Jr. Nobody ever thought to say, well, wait a minute, Pac Man don't have a dick, how can he have a kid? <laughs> but, uh, he's got some kids of his own now, so I'm a grandpa. They call me Packy Pop. Sometimes I ask you questions like, hey, uh, Packy Pop, uh, tell us about the old time. I'm like, oh, when you're a horrible grandmother, got knocked up, had your dad? Of course, I think get a sad look on her face and you know, So I make up bullshit stories and tell them, keep them happy. Yeah. Let me tell you, ladies, something, though. I might not have a dick, but I can eat some pussy. You <laughs> might think you lost a cherry a long time ago, but I'll find it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, enough about me. I'll move on. Let's talk about Paperboy. Yeah. Knock, knock, Paperboy. Who's there? Orange. Oh, orange, too. <laughs> I'm an orange, and you can't say it. So I said orange, and make it easy on you, dude. Come here. <laughs> I liked your little trick with the microphone, too. I'll take you up on it, but I don't have a dick. In case any of you missed it. Did a little uh, deep throat for us before the show started. Yeah, talk about old news. Hey, boy, did anybody ever play that game? <laughs> don't laugh. I don't think so. You know, the funny part is he still has it around. <laughs> he still delivers papers. He's got about five customers left. He's done each day in about a half hour. You know, when uh, you can tell when Paperboy's been beating off, because he comes all over the news. <laughs> say tip your paper boy. So paper boy, here's my tip. Get a life, man. <laughs> and uh, you got two say oranges for us. Oh, orange kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a favor, step up and turn around for us real quick. Maybe Mario will give you a plumbing job. I don't know. <laughs> Just saying. No winning, it's just how long you last. Come on, I can please. Yeah, Tetris, he is a loser. Every time he pieces his life together, it all just disappears. They say people who play Tetris are more organized. Not fun to be with, they, behind you, just more organized. More a bunch of fucking people. Mario and Luigi, hey, what's the matter for you, huh? Yeah, you know what Mario uses to pick up the poop? The turtle poop? Luigi's hands. <laughs> if he'll do anything his brother tells him to. Uh, when Mario wants to find his brother, he uses a, a Luigi board. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did Mario 
Empire 7, he woke up from a night of drinking to find he bagged a green mushroom. I have fucked an animal up. But... Yeah. Hey, what's the difference between Trump and Mario? Anybody know? What? Trump got impeached. Mario was impeached. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mario was almost, once almost choked Peach too, but choked her to death. Yeah. Came down the wrong hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and of course our uh, animal of the hour. Sonic the Hedgehog. No, the hog parts, man. Besides you, man. Let's see. The only thing he had to does first anymore is eats. When what he really needs to do is fast for eating. Uh, the only thing Sonic is fast for now is a good year blimp. I know because I watch you two of them flying together and you can buy a hair. <laughs> The only hedge of Sonic sees now is the one in his older women fans. Hey, it'll be free to see down there, ladies. It's not in the 70s anymore. If you see Sonic turn blue tonight, give him the Heimlich. Chances are he's just choking on some food. Don't worry about his other colors. And the only ring Sonic has now is once around his neck. And if you ask Sonic, he'll tell you he's part owner of that hamburger franchise out there. Yeah, I keep trying to tell them, just because you ate ham the hamburgers they made does not make you a partner. And remember, folks, I'd like to be able to uh, do a petition, if you don't mind. Sign up. I'd like to get those uh, guys who created me to put some arms on old Pac-Man. I can still have a career left. You know, I could be doing some, like, Rambo-type shit out there. Put some arms, put a gun in my hand, go through the jungles, you can call them pac <laughs> And if it's not too too much to ask, sign the back part of the petition for get me a dick. I'm <laughs> sure lonely fellow on that. All right, y'all have a good night. Waka, 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 waka. Are you sure you don't have a dick? Did you see where I just grabbed this thing? I gotta give it up to the, the giant ball of trash over here. He's, he, you can see he has the cards falling out of his bottom. <laughs> Tetris, or not Tetris, fucking Pac-Man, I'm wasted. <laughs> Pac-Man is, is so funny, he's so dumb, he need a key. Mitchell, save me. Alright, this one goes out to Sonic the Hitchhog. Sonic, get your ice cap looking hilltop hairline out of here, dog. Your boots looking like they were bought at the Dollar Tree. You should stop grabbing those rings and start trying to grab some bitches. Alright, and one more thing, if you finally do grab some bitches, you should unsubscribe from Who's the Bats Only Fans, man! Alright, you're uh, overstepping your bounds a little bit, but let's hear it for him. <laughs> okay, that's great. This is Mitchell, everybody. It's on YouTube, not under the name Mitchell. I don't know what it's under. It's weird. But anyway, we're gonna... Wait, please, please. Let's give attention to Luigi, the second half. The Mario Brothers, oh my god, you know, a lot of people think about the Mario Brothers and then they think about their count their evil counterparts. The Wario, the Waluigi, everyone loves the Waluigi. <laughs> yes, there's Mario right there! The, you know, people are like, well, are they brothers? Because they're supposed to be opposites, Waluigi and Wario. And it is true, they are brothers. What makes them evil is that they're incestuous. <laughs> And that's right. Get out of here. You guys. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Luigi. Take a little Slippery, guys. I'm a fucking plumber. My name's Luigi from Brooklyn. I plumb things. I'm gonna give it up to my creator, Sergi Morimoto from Japan. He's my dad, I guess. He created me as a game designer. You know, that's why I'm here with all these guys, just with, you know, Japan technology and all that. But now I plumb. I plumb in Brooklyn. I don't know if you know, there's a lot of hipsters there. I don't even know what a bidet is. I had to try to replace one today. I didn't do too well. It was full of craft beer and typewriters. I don't know. They eat typewriters. I don't even know. Okay. Still 
live in a mansion. I have a haunted mansion. It's ghosts everywhere. They left me a bunch of vacuum cleaners. I don't know what to do with these fucking vacuum cleaners. They don't even work. Just, they gave me an arcade game. It doesn't work either. That's all I got. I did from the previous game. I got some mushrooms and fireball, though. So I've just been doing a lot of that. Well, I've been seeing ghosts. I don't know if it's just my mansion, but I've seen a lot of ghosts. But, uh... I don't know, you know, I'm doing my thing out here. Um, yeah, you know, I had a visit from Paulie last night. Rest, rest in peace, Sopranos. You know, he came up to me in a meme form and he just did that thing where he's like, Hey, there's, all, there's no way there's only 42 numbers. That's what he said. <laughs> and then he went away. It was crazy. Uh, <laughs> but Mario, my brother... Mamma Mia, my brother. It's been three years, we haven't seen each other. We live in different places now. Took all the money, of course, you know. Took the pizza place. This pizza sucks, so I opened one in AC. I'm just coming up, it's gonna be good. Um, I don't know, where'd you get this thing? Foreman Mills called, they want the suspenders back, man, come on. <laughs> Looks all right. Oh, um, I don't know. I don't know, man. Last time I saw you, man, we were gangbanging Peach with Donkey Kong and Bowser. It was great, man. It's on OnlyFans. I could give you a link if you guys want. And we could give you a link, too, if we have a link here. Uh, rest in peace, Link. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's been bad. You know, I know Toad and Peach are together now. You're just in child alimony hell. You know, I know how that goes. We're both like paying for Peach. We're Eskimo brothers. We're not just brothers. We're Eskimo brothers. <laughs> On so many ways. We keep it in the family. There's Wario out there. Wario. Wario, you sold me some banana peels in the parking lot. Now I'm all, I don't know what that was, but now I'm fucked, man. I'm fucked up right now. Man. Yeah, dude. Oh, you can see I'm over there. <laughs> this better be better. Oh, <laughs> You knocked down my brother on the banana! Who decides to have a good idea to give the audience fruit? Yes. Tell Monty. But, I don't know. I've been uh, going. To, <laughs> I didn't even know he was going to be here, Pac Man. Pac Man, I saw him under the L, man. He was trying to score heroin. Can't believe how many balls this guy can put in his mouth, man. It was crazy. This Pac Man was doing another guy. I saw her. I know where she is. So if you want me to get you back with her, she's had way more balls in her mouth than you did, though. I bet she's got something playing. I don't know. But Paper Boy, Paper Boy's eating the banana, guys. You're gonna get fucked up right now. That's all Molly banana. <laughs> I don't know, man. This, this guy used to be a roadie for Motley Crue. They kicked him out of the band because they kept you kept giving them papers and they were like, no, papers for cocaine. What the hell are you giving us newspapers for? No one reads newspapers. What the fuck? We don't even read. <laughs> That's what Tommy Lee was like. They kicked you the fuck out. I don't know. Matters for respect for uh, Bobby Cooper. <laughs> Mad respect. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, Tetris blocks here. Russian man himself in his red thing. I was just watching Rocky IV. We're gonna get you. We're gonna knock you down like we knocked the Berlin Wall. <laughs> Ivan Drago, we knocked him down. USA, Apollo Creed, USA. 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 But you did teach me a lot about how to make things disappear. You know, Polly doesn't mean his dream. He doesn't put that together. You yeah. know. We do a lot of work. We're not just plumbers. <laughs> Give us a call after the show. Um, but Sonic, here he is. He's looking great. He looks like some kind of furry you see at a music festival trying to pass you out Special K. <laughs> Always trying to get you in his tent. <laughs> you don't want to do it. Don't fall for the trap. It's not even Special K. It's just sugar. Never go back, man. Really. But speaking of him, you know, I know, like with you, I realize I don't think you're a fury. I think you're more of a piss guy. 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> you love to get showered in golden rings, man. I know you love rings. R. Kelly says hi. <laughs> Adventuring skills. 
Christians. Have you seen the amount of pipes in the mushroom kingdom? I'm making a kid. I mean, we are. Right, brother? I forgot he left to become a ghostbuster. <laughs> Of a joke that the Yoshi once told me. Yoshi, nom nom, nom nom. <laughs> Such a funny joke if you understand the Yoshi needs. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> All right, give them for a Pac Man, everybody. A Pac Man, he's only here because his house is haunted and no one wants to hang out with him, ever. For 25 cents, this wife will swallow balls until she dies. He's one of the only video game characters that can retire as a pie chart. He's so old in his arcade he took a sack of chewers and the balloons. <laughs> I was up to three right in that way. <laughs> must be down really bad. I saw him in the Fortnite item shop the other day. He had an emo of him getting gangbanged by the four ghosts. He's so old, all of his friends are ghosts. Here's a funny joke that the Donkey Kong once told me. Of a funny joke that the Sylvester as the Stallone told 
me? It's funny if you understand the Sylvester Stallone. Have I driven that into the ground? All right, give it up for the Sandy to my console arrival, everybody. My console. Sonic. Sega does what the Nintendo, right? That's what they used to say. But uh, that, uh, that's funny to me because where is a Sega now? Yeah, Nintendo, but say gone. Oh. That was 4 a.m. <laughs> All right, it's time to give this up. Look, I'm from Brooklyn. You are my brother. Look, we living in Brooklyn our whole lives. We're plumbers. We still do this shit, but uh, we're living off Mario Maker numbers now, baby. Woo give it up for Sonic. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Super Mario. I don't think you guys are Super Marios. I don't think you're Super Mario Brothers. I think you're... You guys look like you're about to fuck my mom. Oh my god. And it's always... It's always... It's always... You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the fourth wall. When, uh, you know, when, when Paperboy wants to masturbate, uh, you know, he goes on the internet and he clicks on the video with the hottest lady and it's always someone's stepmother. And that's something. I'm like, you're all the stepmother to the Mario Brothers? I don't understand it, it's weird. I only watch porno parodies. Uh, it's funny, we have Sonic from Sonic Oranges. <laughs> fucking, I'm a fucking rock star, dude. Or, <laughs> woo! <laughs> Hello, Cherry Hill! Are you ready to rock? All right, what did you say again? How did you it's, say it's, it's, the new Sonic game, and Sonic Origins. say this word, like this isn't even a bit, but he was trying to say Sega Origins all day, like what is the name of my new game? Sonic Orange-jizz. Right, Orange-jizz. That's close enough, that's as close as we're gonna get. Well everybody, let's hear it for, for Sonic Oranges. <laughs> Origins. Alright guys. First off, let's just address this right away. I am probably not what you were expecting to see. You were not expecting to see a 50-year-old man in his pajamas. You thought maybe I would look like the Sonic from the movies, right? That is not real. Movies are not real. They're not video games. That was not a movie about a hedgehog. If you want to see a real movie about a hedgehog, Watch like a nature film. That's a movie. They cast an actor to play me. They weren't gonna have me play me. So they casted that cartoon character and I met him and he was very nice. It was really weird because we'd be wandering around behind the sets and he was two dimensional and he'd turn sideways and he'd completely fucking disappear. But he was, you know, he was a nice guy. But I know you weren't expecting me. You were expecting something a little more, a little more hip, a little more fun, maybe a little more furry. Speaking of which, if there's anyone in the audience who's like part of a furry couple, like I got the costume and I'm thinking like, I'd like to try it. Like I don't know if I want to go full fur, but I am, I am furry curious. So keep that in mind. But anyway, you guys weren't expecting to see me. I wasn't expecting to see you. They told me that I was going to be with some of the smartest, the most beautiful, the best people in the state of New Jersey, and they fucking lied to me because clearly you guys are not those people, is what I would have thought. But I drove around New Jersey today. It's like driving through the like the the plant zone in, in, in Sonic, the fucking nuclear power plant. That's what New Jersey is. So I feel like we did get the fucking cream of the crop. You guys are the fucking best. And I am pissed. I'm an angry fucking old man. I've been running around for 30 fucking years in these games. And the sad thing is, they're not getting any newer. Who in here remembers me on the Sega Master System? Is there anyone in here? We're gonna gauge people's ages now. Who remembers me on the Sega Master System? You, and you're like 12. 
<laughs> you don't remember it on the second message. Just give me thinking. How about Genesis? That's where people know me from Genesis. Maybe they know Sega CD. Maybe they know me from 32X or Dreamcast. You guys know the people coming up behind you are going to play those exact same games because Sega is going to sell them back to them at $60 over again. <laughs> They are going to play the exact same games as you are, and then some day at a comic show, they're going to sit in the first row and they're going to say, I remember from Sega from Sega Master System. They don't. You remember an Xbox SLX1 version of the Sega Master System version that you paid $60 for that I just got on the floor for $12. You got mad. <laughs> <laughs> look, we all look different. I get, I got older. I go into the Emerald Hill Zone now, and I just stand there yelling at kids, "Get off my fucking lawn!" <laughs> you little fucking bastards. I was in the, uh, I was in the lobby earlier today, and there's a lot. Of, there are some beautiful cosplays. Like this gentleman back here. Uh, he's got a stick. I thought he had his hand up the whole time. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, dude, you can, if you want to go, like, you gotta go to the bathroom. He's like, I'm not supposed to be in this class. All right. Um, where was I? Okay, so I'm old and, and I'm seeing things and I'm hearing there's lots of great cosplay, but there's lots of people dressed like me in like fleece pajamas and there were a group of people out there and they smelled so bad. Like it was like they were in the lobby and I was a little embarrassed to be in the lobby because I looked like this. But then there were these stinky people and I thought, oh my God, if I could take them to the underwater zone, like I could solve all these fucking problems. It's kind of like when I'm Sonic, it's kind of like a serial killer mentality. Like where can I take someone to kill them? But I'm old. So the only time I get to the casino zoo zone is when they're running a bus. You gotta wait on the bus. I'm also like, like I have a lot of like internal problems, like you know, gut, gut problems. Lots of, like lactose intolerance, anybody ever? Like, you know what explosive diarrhea is? Let me, let me just say, all right. So, I, uh, I'm, I'm a hedgehog, I, I generally walk around on, on four feet, right? So I, I started getting backed up, and, and I'm on my like four feet, and I'm like, no! You know, and like that, and I'm like, no! And fucking explosive diarrhea out my back, hits the wall, full of fucking rings. You no, know, eat rings your whole life, that's what happens. If you're going home and eating SpaghettiOs, explosive diarrhea, it happens. <laughs> mm. oh, <laughs> Behave yourself. Mm. Is that what you can do? This <laughs> paper boy. Paper boy still throws papers because uh, this company got really pissed when he was throwing iPads. <laughs> Read your news, bitches. <laughs> But he's still involved with the news business. Like I, I just saw a story about you, like you broke a bunch of windows and you broke doors and you were getting into fights on January 6th in the Capitol. <laughs> and I was like, man, he's still got it, that kid. Yeah. He's got a lot going on. You know what? People say to me, they're like, Sonic, tell us about your love life. You know, tell us what you're doing. And they're like, are you are you with Amy or are you fucking Amy, right? And I'm like, <laughs> like, I'm not, you know, I'm, that's outside my pro. But I did once, like, to be honest with you guys, I did. I had sex with her, and, uh, and I got her pregnant, actually. So you know what happens then, like, you know where this goes. We were in a state where abortion was illegal, so I just left her. <laughs> yes, I went there. But it's okay, I got a new girlfriend. Because, you know, you move on. Like, you can only wait so long. And then, so I'm dating one of the uh, the girls from Better Alive. 
you know, they've had her life. Like, not, like she was in the fighting game, but she really came into her own in the volleyball game, Tina. <laughs> Love Tina. All right. Moving on from Paperboy, we've got Luigi over there at the end. Luigi, you got it like, like I know it's not PC, and I know you're looking at me and you're like, this guy is woke. But Luigi's retarded. <laughs> It was wrong, dude. When I, before it came out of my mouth, I was like, I shouldn't fucking say retard. But Luigi's retarded. He's, they call him Player Two, right? Good old Player Two. But when he plays Player Two, they don't plug his controller in. Right? And they just make him like, they're like, you're doing great. You're doing great. He's not actually full on retarded. Player Two. Special. He's, uh, he's got a ball ball. Asperger's. You got some, uh, you got some personal, you know, he's on the spectrum. And God bless him, he's on the spectrum. He uh, he can recite every dinosaur from every period in alphabetical order by size. He has that special skill that, that no one else really has. Uh, I don't know if you guys were at the comedy show this morning, but he did jokes from like a dirty comic that we saw in an open mic club last week. And it was like, hey, oh. <laughs> come to the little piece soon. Come on. <laughs> but I love him. Orange is the source. <laughs> it's what I know. He, uh, he does whatever his brother does, though, right? Doesn't Luigi do whatever Mario does? He's like, Mario's like, I got a job. Let's go, Luigi. Whatever it is, you're in on it. And every job that Mario has, they make a fucking game out of it. Am I right? Like, Mario for like three minutes was an Uber driver, and they're like, you know what? He's an Uber driver, we'll make a cart game, and he'll drive around in circles, and it'll be great. He's a construction worker, we're gonna have him build his own levels. He's a zookeeper, but the fucking ape escaped. Like, every job he had, he was shitty at. Oh, he was a doctor? No, he was a fucking drug dealer, and he got caught. <laughs> Every fucking job, and I know you're like, but he's known for being a plumber. Like, he finally, like, he grew up and grew into his own, right? No! He's a shitty fucking plumber. Every pipe in that land is full of shit. So much shit that they started growing poisonous flowers. And the poisonous flowers got so fucking toxic from the shit in the pipes that they started throwing out shit fireballs. The whole mushroom kingdom. Smells like a porta potty. Don't go there. It's all Mario's fault. Like, does anybody know, because you guys are nerds and stuff, uh, what the Japanese name for, uh, for King Koopa is? Like, you know what it translates to? It's probably like I could teach or something. But it's uh, like, it translates to like the big fucking deep. Like, that's like a literal translation from Japanese to American. Like, we said, oh, no, let's make a cute, cute scene. But he's the big fucking demon. And I'm like, holy shit, the big fucking demon is coming and invading our fucking town. What are we going to do? <laughs> hey, get that little plumber. I saw him jump. <laughs> I, I, uh, I hate Tetris block. I, I hate all Tetris blocks. Like, I'm old. Of course, I'm going to be a little racist. Tetris. I hate all Tetris blocks because, like, you think he's a nice guy, right? Like, he likes vodka. He likes women. He likes all these things. But he also likes to shoot Ukrainian kids in the face. And it's... <laughs> It's sort of hard to put those two things back in line. <laughs> but, let me tell you though, Tetris's wife, Tetris's wife is a fucking piece. She's long, thin, and open at both ends, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And, if you're into pegging, I'm not into pegging, I'm just pegging curious. But she works that out too. What a, what a fucking lady. But I really, tonight, uh, want to take this time uh, to tell you guys, like, I want to clue you in. You deserve it. You've been 
lied to throughout the entire show. Th this isn't my friend Pac-Man. My friend Pac-Man is dead. This is this is Miss Pac-Man, and and, uh, and it's really sad. I'm really uh, upset. And just before we wrap it up, I just want to tell you that uh, the real Pac-Man was a great man, and uh, he was very old. Um, he had a little bit of the HIV. Uh, he had some brain cancer. Actually, I think that uh, I think that he had a bullet wound and like a needle sticking out of his arm. So I'm just glad he didn't suffer. You know, like, I'm glad he went peacefully in his old days and he didn't suffer that much. I uh, I feel like though he uh, he really is a special guy. Like think about it, how many other characters could go into a board meeting and say, guys, I want to make a video game. I want to make a video game where it's me running around like a sponge, cleaning up cum in these glory hole booths. <laughs> and we'll have a full fucking maze of glory hole booths and there'll be little drops of cum everywhere and I'll just wipe them off. And no one soaked up cum like Pac-Man. He went in and he pitched that idea. And some Japanese guy was like, dude, that's fucking brilliant. I am so into that. That fits right in with Japanese media. It's going to be great. We're going to make this new form of media. We're going to make a billion dollars off of you cleaning up jizz stains in a maze. And you know what? That Japanese guy with a pea fetish and a, going to glory holes and just a dirty, dirty man, he made the billion dollars. He bet on Pac-Man and he made a million dollars and it could happen to any one of us. Pac-Man, 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 Pac-Man. Pac right, thank you guys. Thank all my friends and uh, here's paper money. Hey everybody, and we're gonna go home and got double fisted. Everybody, thank you so much for watching the show. Thank this guy. Thank this guy. Thank Mitchell. Do you have anything else to say? Say one more thing for the audience. Mitchell was not part of the show. Yeah, I was not part of the show. I, I just asked him if I could roast Sonic, and that's why my uh, uh, this, is, this is actually from. Just tell us a joke. The pop shop. Okay. Just tell us okay, a joke. Sonic. Sonic. Yo, I think if you were a little bit uh, slower, maybe Amy wouldn't have left you. Damn. 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 Hey, guys, um, Darren's selling a book. It's a, it's a Goosebumps parody book. It's a lot of fun. It's really funny. He's got a bunch of funny stories in two volumes. Check it out. It's real cheap, 10 bucks. Uh, let me roast the audience. The only couple in the audience was, a bit, was practically having sex tonight. <laughs> they were practically having sex right there. I was jerking off about it. It's okay. Uh, who else? We got the, uh, the pet, uh, we're the big Arizona can. Ah, uh, he's gone. He's my big sip. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Here's the evil kid. There's the evil kid back there with the, they didn't crack a smile on. No, nope, turn around. I'm pointing right at you. Stop turning around. You, yeah, you just turned and you're looking right at me. You got, yeah, you're fucking evil. I can tell you didn't smile at all the whole show. You're just sitting there like, yes, this is comedy. I'm going to enjoy it. My name's Bill Miller. Uh, you can find me on Twitch under Bill Miller's Duck. Uh, you can uh, hang out uh, on Twitch at uh, Chat Play. We all hang out. We all tell jokes. We all uh, have fun and play games. You can play games with us. Come on, play games with us. Everybody, Dance of Thunder, everybody. Thank you.